Hi there and welcome back to the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Kristen Maloney from Malotti Media and this is episode 116. Is ChatGPT a tool or a takeover? Here is everything you need to know about the AI generated copywriting at the moment. All right, so this is a very, very hot topic right now. So I'm going to address it head on. So AI, there's a lot of data saying that businesses are adopting AI as incredibly fast, right? I think I saw a stat recently that 270% in the last four years of businesses globally have adopted AI in some shape or form. Now, ChatGPT is only one type of AI. There are many, of course, automation and platforms and things like that that are out there. Now, because of AI, especially because of ChatGPT, which is producing hand content and written content, I'm often asked, ooh, do we still need to use human copywriters? And in fact, this question has become even more common with emerging technologies and, you know, chat GPT and all of the, you know, Google's Bard is on the tip of everyone's tongue at the moment. Can a machine do the same thing as a human, only a whole lot faster? Well, it's a fair question and one that requires a lot of thought. So that's why, you know, I've decided to dedicate this podcast episode to doing a bit of a deep dive on, on this and the implications of AI around copywriting. So let's start with some definitions, but remember this was recorded early 2023. As you can imagine, AI is evolving very, very fast. So what I know now probably won't be what I know in the future, but but this is so far what I've been finding from my own research, which is quite extensive, as well as my own experience of using it and getting involved and, and investigating it and seeing what people's opinions are. All right, so what is AI? In the simplest sense, AI is when a machine is programmed to mimic human capabilities in order to solve problems, okay? So what is often great about AI is that it can do like far more tasks more efficiently than humans, which then is designed to free up scarce time to focus more on creative or complex endeavors. So that sounds pretty cool, right? That's that's exactly what we want it to do, right? And many investors, of course, believe this because, you know, the global AI market was estimated in 2022 at US dollars, $119 billion, okay? So as you can imagine, it's huge. Now, despite the enormous intrigue, most of the problems that AI can solve right now are, are quite basic, okay? So like, you know, we've got the basics of Hey Siri and OK Google, right? They're basic automation tools. And so currently the, the idea at the moment for AI is to speed up everyday menial tasks. And the hope is that it starts to take some of the driving car direction and all that sort of direction. So there's a lot of different things and a lot of potential that it can have. And so what we're looking at though, is more specifically is how far advanced is AI when it comes to copywriting? So in the context of copywriting, AI is used to more particularly, more specifically at the moment, ChatGPT is used to generate written copy by mimicking the research and writing process typically conducted by humans. Now, I saw a definition recently that said that its algorithm is mainly programmed to def- like it's looked at all the internet and it's looked at the statistical frequency, like how often words are connected to each other. And that's how it's learning. Okay. And that's what it is. Right. And so like, I, I mean, I looked at AI chatbot and I got it to define itself. Okay. And I said, write me an introduction to a blog about the role of AI in copywriting. Now it says itself, this is direct quote from chat GPT. Artificial intelligence or AI has been making waves in almost every industry and copywriting is no exception. With the increasing use of AI in content creation, it's becoming important to understand the role it plays and its potential impact on the field. From automating mundane tasks to creating unique and engaging content, AI has the power to revolutionize copywriting as we know it. And so it's, it basically says there are benefits and challenges, but whether you're a copywriter or a marketer, it's essential to stay informed about the role AI is playing in the industry and how you can improve your work. Now, that's it wrote that really, really well, okay? It got all the right information. The grammar is great. It seems to know what the keywords AI and copywriting are and it has a pretty decent idea of, of this kind of response was in, I was looking for. The problem is when you start digging below the surface, Okay, and so number one is ChatGPT on average doesn't provide original content. Instead, it synthesizes and presents content based on what it already exists and what it's learnt from across the internet. Basically, not only would using that above output be within a gray area of potential plagiarism, but the chances are that other competing businesses are using ChatGPT as well. And chances are that it's gonna produce something similar to you. And so this is where people face a problem 
problem. Chat, GPT, and AI in copywriting definitely have their roles, 100%. But the problem is, is that it is producing the same or general homogenous content. And that's because it's answering your question. It's not meant to be super creative. It's meant to answer your prompt. So if you're the first one in your space to use it, you're probably gonna get some sort of original content, quote unquote. But if someone else uses it, and then someone else uses it again and again and again, they're gonna have very similar words produced to you. And so that's the problem with the original side. Now, to combat like and this and address this, the creators of ChatGPT, OpenAI, have been looking at producing a watermark being placed over all written output to prevent everyone from simply cut and pasting their content. And so, and in fact, OpenAI already requires all content taken from the platform to be disclosed as his intellectual material. And you can't just use any output to sell anything for money without their direct permission. So if you ask it itself, it says, even if you change the words around from based on its output, you still have to acknowledge and credit OpenAI and ChatGPT for writing the original, even if you edit it. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, who cares? But as I said, OpenAI are starting to watermark a lot of their content. So who knows what the future will bring? right? And this is where you need to be careful. In addition, I had a lawyer that, that had a looked into the terms condition of ChatGTP and it says that it, ChatGPT, actually looks for content around the internet and it is you as the user who are responsible for making sure that it is not copyright protected. So this is really important to remember is that you can't risk or you've got to be careful to see where, like, and it's your responsibility, not open AIs to determine if the content is original or not. Okay. So it's really important. Now that's not the only thing. It sounds a bit like a robot. Okay. And so if you actually look at the content, I've seen so many people on LinkedIn, they're posting social media prompts and posts. And what I found is people are actually calling them out, <laughs> calling them out saying, did chat GPT write this? This doesn't sound like you, or this doesn't sound original, authentic. And so that's the difference is that the written word is not just there for, as a rules. Like, you know, it's not just meant to be there as code. It's meant to be there as it's got to have some authenticity and empathy. And that is hard because AI copywriting platforms don't understand your context. You have to tell it and it's hard to tell it. So at the end of the day, effective copywriting isn't just about informing your reader. It's about creating lasting feeling and inspiring action and creating memories and positive associations. So what separates human copywriters from AI isn't the information that you know we have access to or how quickly they work. It's all about how well we can connect human to human. Okay. And so I said this to my team recently. I said, while AI has artificial intelligence, humans have AI, right? Emotional intelligence. So AI might be quote unquote intelligent in the artificial sense, but when it comes to emotional intelligence and the persuasiveness required to connect with clients, AI doesn't even compute close. Okay. And it's really important to remember that. So why do you need authenticity? Well, as more and more businesses turn to AI to generate their copy, the result is always the same. Robotic written words that lead potential customers to view your business as potentially dry, mechanical, and uninviting. The question your business you're writing needs to answer is simple. What sets you apart? Okay, so if everyone is using chat GPT in your industry or something of the like, it's hard to express authenticity and originality with the same auto-generated words as your competitors. So if you want the generic baseline results for your business, the results that you know you get when you ask Siri, then by all means, AI is great for the output. But if you want your business to stand out, head and shoulders over the crowd and be unique and creative, then you need that to reflect in your copy. And that's where human written copywriting stands out. So, but I don't want this to be biased against with humans, right? I want you to have a level playing field here. So what I do personally in my business is we use chat GPT to research. It is excellent for research. So all of those tedious mundane, long projects that used to take forever to do research on. You know, like for example, if you write an article or something on a particular topic and you go, all right, now I need to find research that backs this up. You know, you used to have to just Google and look and look and look. Now you can ask platforms like ChatGPT to search for you. 
And that's a really powerful tool. Another way we use it is, you know, a client might say, Chris, we need to create some key opinion leadership content. We need to write it. Do you have any ideas? And what I will do is use ChatGPT to hunt and search as a tool to find top trends and ideas and things that people are looking for now. Once once we do that, we can present it to the client and then the client can talk about these things to me and then I can articulate it in an engaging way that replicates their voice. That is almost impossible for AI to do. Okay, and you'll find that people are time poor. They don't have time to sit on chat GPT and keep asking it and asking it and asking it, then getting some sort of mediocre output and then having to rewrite it. That takes a lot of time. Whereas when you use chat GPT as a research tool and you find what you need to find, then you write it from a human perspective and you, or you get a human copywriter, then that way you've got the information that is robust, unique, and distinct without any copyright issues, R-I-G-H-T, copyright issues, and it sounds like the person, and it has intricate detail, okay? ChatGPT is great for Wikipedia kind of pages and general information, but if you really wanna delve into what your brand is doing and specializes in, to do what that requires, requires direct contact with the key opinion leader, asking lots of questions, delving, um, prompting them in the right way, all of those kind of things are fantastic. So as the world becomes even more mechanical, personalized client care becomes even more value than ever before. And that's exactly what, you know, humans can provide. So while, you know, Siri, chat, GTP, and all those kind of tools have their uses, it's really important to determine where to use them and when not to. Okay, and so it really requires you to make that distinction. Uh, One of my team said, how can AI capture your client's pain points and understand your pain points and their pain points if it never feels pain itself, right? (laughs) What sets businesses apart are the ways you can make your customers feel and the story that you tell. So the question is, in the end, is AI generated copy just a complete waste of time? Not at all. AI is an incredible tool in many contexts, especially when it comes to copywriting. But I have seen recently Neil Patel, the content marketing wizard of the world, right? Listen to his podcast a lot. And he has done A-B testing where he's tested complete manual copywriting versus chat GPT straight cut and paste. And he's also done chat GPT and edited by a copywriter. And he said the manual from scratch performs the best by far. And that's because... With SEO, obviously Google's investing in a lot of watermarking and protection against AI as well. And in the end, let's just be simple here. We want to be humans to write to humans. We don't want the world where it's AI writing for AI, okay? We want people to be able to understand and feel authentic and feel like they're being talked to by an authentic human. That's what we've got to be thinking of. It's an incredible tool, okay? A tool born by human ingenuity and creativity. In this way, AI finds itself as an interesting CAC 22. While it solves basic problems and frees up human capacity, that spare capacity should get directed towards piloting the AI and coming up with strategies because AI relies on humans, okay? And so too does your written copy. Like at Melody Media, what are our initial thoughts on AI copywriting? At Melody Media, we believe AI, such as ChatGPT, should be used as a gateway to well laid out information. You know, think about it as a Google 2.0, which is where I think Google Bard will play, is, you know, thanks to AI, human copywriters can get research and gather information about a topic really, really fast, okay? So AI does all the research and the basics, which is what it does best, then leave copywriters to craft the messaging from the research, okay? It's really important that you find a good way Okay, so you've got to ask yourself, is your business okay with generic AI copywriting or are you looking for customized messaging? Because remember, if you use it to write your website or any of your content, you have to acknowledge that it was written by AI. And do you think your clients or customers will be comfortable seeing that? That's up to you, right? And I'm not trying to pass judgment, but will your customers and clients go, wow, (laughs) you know, thought you couldn't even think about how to communicate with us. You had to get a tool to write to us so that we even paid attention. And so it's really important that, you know, just from a branding sense that you're also can taking this into consideration. Okay, so that's it. How did that go? How do we think? Like, hopefully it was a nice balanced opinion. As I said, AI, fantastic for tools, just like Canva is for design. Okay, when it comes down to it, if you don't have the time or the expertise or you just want it done, 
contact us at Malotti Media. You can dump all of your problems and we can triage your problems and then turn it into messages and content strategy and written projects and all that. So it's just done. And if you want to get the basics, then turn to AI. That's in the end, it's your choice. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for joining me for this podcast episode of the Message Marketing Pod. I'm your host, Christopher Malotti from Malotti Media. And this has been 116 episode of the Message Marketing Pod. Please join me in the next episode and please subscribe or visit our website at malottimedia.com.au. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.